Hi, good evening. Namaste. Hello, hello. Hi, Anya. So happy you joined. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. It's been quite a while since I have done these live, so I'm going to ask for your grace. Um, I might be a little technical issues here and there, but we'll get through it. I'm just so happy to be here with you guys again. I'm grateful that you're here too. Yes, so thank you for joining. I want to hear from you guys. How has everyone been? What's going on in your lives? Drop a comment in there. Because um, this helps me when I can check in and feel that connection with you. It helps me deliver from a heart space area instead of a head space. So I can feel where you're at. So if you can drop a comment, what you're feeling, what's been going on in your world, in your life. Be vulnerable, be open. You know, I think that is the one thing with um, Miss the Studio. Oh, thank you, yes. Well, I hope to get everyone's face on here soon again. Ah, oh, thank you. You are beautiful too, Sky. <laughs> Hi, Jojo. <Woo! laughs> oh, it's been hard, yes. Mm -hmm. I know it's been really challenging and every day we have a new challenge or something else that arises and challenges are opportunities, right? The opportunities for us to look within, opportunities for us to search within our own hearts and souls for how we can rise to the occasion. So I know, mm, yes. Well, I hope that um, myself and the teachers that decide to come on here with me can help release some of that anxiety and help you just feel more connected to us. And you know, we're gonna be offering yoga out on the beach on Saturday with the beautiful Skylar. And it'll be every Saturday and it'll be one of the Darren's that teach it. So we'll have our singing bowls and an amazing radiant sequence and music and just everything that you know radiant to be. Yes, Tatiana, our community is so special, so grateful. Yeah, so just drop a comment on what you're feeling in your heart again so I can tap into that space. Hi, Vanessa, welcome. Welcome, Jordan. Thank you, Tatiana. You know, isn't it amazing how some days we can feel like we really have this thing under control and then other days we can feel really out of control and we ride this journey. We ride the waves of life. You know, and sometimes we feel, you know, like these waves wash over us. You know, and sometimes these waves, they crash onto us. You know, I spent some time looking at the ocean the other day and someone had told me the waves are 15 feet high down on the beach. And I was like, wow, because what I see out there is this most peaceful, deep, vast, calm ocean. But yet at the shore, the waves were crashing hard. So sometimes at the shore, which is our exterior, the waves are coming at us and crashing on top of us. But if we can learn to move inward and move deeper into that place, we begin to find that vastness, that peace. But it's a practice. It doesn't just happen like that, right? If it did, all of us would be meditating and levitating and all of that. So we practice this place of moving inwards. We practice this place of trying to connect into our heart. Tony Robbins says, you stay in your head, you're dead, right? You have to move down into your heart center. I miss you too, Claire, so good to see you. <laughs> I was envisioning giving you a head massage actually today when I was with, uh, actually in class. We miss you, Claire. 
So yes, if we stay in our head, we're dead. We gotta move into our heart center. And it's only through practice, right? Because we're taught, we're programmed through most of our lives to think, stay up here, focus on, you know, thinking instead of focusing on heart center, focusing on our breath, focusing on peace, focusing on gratitude. So it's a journey of moving inwards and instead of looking outward all the time. And the outward is beautiful if you know what to look at. You know, I happen to see falling stars quite often, many of them. And people always ask me, how do you see so many falling stars? Well, most of the time it means I'm looking up and out, up and not down at my phone and not hanging my head low. So you know our body posture changed when we're sad. When we're feeling overwhelmed, what happens? Our shoulders cave in, our head drops down. But if you keep your eyes to the sky, you'll see beautiful things. The clouds, the vastness of the blue sky, shooting stars, maybe a rainbow, maybe a beautiful flock of birds flying through. It reminds you that you have wings. Beach classes, yes. We'll be sending an email out about that shortly here, the next day or so. But it's gonna be Saturday at 10 a.m. And we still haven't picked the location, but I believe it's gonna be down on Balboa this week. So we can reach out to Skylar Yoga for more details or we'll be sending out some info on here on Radiant. So it's a couple more moments before we get started. I'm just so happy again to be here with you guys. You know, I know you guys probably feel this too. We all struggle with looking at ourselves. I know I do too. You guys might say, oh, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. But it's like getting and having to look at yourself. Actually, Savannah was telling me today that there's something called, um, it's not body dysmorphia. It's called Zoom morphia, I believe. And it's because people are spending so much time on Zoom, they're starting to... Um, you know, have negative beliefs from st staring at themselves all the time. So, you know, we have to make sure that we have a healthy thoughts in our minds, healthy self image. Next week, I'm gonna share with you guys this uh, coaching thing I do. I did it on the alignment workshop the other day and it's called the Wheel of Life. And it has all these different areas that we get to work on and look inwards. And I've spent many years creating this Wheel of Life. I usually uh, teach it at my retreats. So if you've been on retreat with me, we've probably done it. Um, but now I've really um, spent a lot of time working on this. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys next week. And I believe that um, we'll have some breakthroughs in our personal lives. So for me, yoga, yes, yoga is amazing physical workout, but yoga truthfully is that work in for me. It's how I show up every day. It's my relationships. It's how I feel about myself. It's the love I can share. It's the service of being, um, service to others. So yoga is the shape of your life more than the shape of your body. And if you can touch your toes or not, I mean, that will all just happen naturally the more you practice. But it's, yoga is about letting go of anger and resentment and moving to gratitude and love. Truthfully, that really is it. If you sum it up and finding that peace within yourself. And if we can learn that on this path while we're alive, then we achieve something very, very special here. Very special. You know, so many people are going around so angry, judgmental, holding on to that anger and that grief and sadness and the need to be right and the need to judge. And, you know, that's like drinking your own poison. And so yoga has helped me with so much with trauma, with pain, with letting go, and just wanting to have the healthiest version of myself in every area, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. So yes, thank you all for joining. I love all the hearts. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so who's ready for a yoga class? Are you guys ready to move your body? Send me a yes if you're ready. Want to see who's ready or do you want me to keep talking for a little bit more? Do you like what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't wait to um, see you guys and hear more from you. I miss the interactions and connections too with all of you. Some of you is, um, I've missed so much. Okay, great. So I just set up this like camera thing and like I said, have grace with me because it might fall over or who knows what. We're going to hope for the best. <laughs> Uh, there's a beautiful Savannah just coming home. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down to my level on the mat. Okay, maybe that's good. I don't know. We'll see. 
Okay, guys, so I was thinking I have something special for you guys at first. Um, so we always do an open mouth exhale breath when we start our classes at Radiant. Um, but many of you who've done my teacher training or workshops, we practice separate nostril breathing. So I wanna teach that here to you guys first before we get started. It's a different type of breath, and every week I also will demonstrate a different type of breath work that I don't get to um, practice with you in the heated room. So just sit up nice and tall. It doesn't really matter where your feet are. I wouldn't go into lotus, so unless you're super comfortable in that position. Um, you wanna sit up nice and tall. If you wanna use a towel underneath your hips, you can. If not, just sit up tall. Draw your belly in, straight spine. You wanna sit, you know, tall, but not uptight. So allow the shoulders to drop down. Pull the shoulders back. Your palms can either be up or your palms can be placed down. Make sure that your chin is parallel to the floor. They say if our chin is up, we're focused too much on the um, future and if our chin is down we're focusing too much on the past so let's bring our chin center good and just take a nice deep inhale through the nose exhale let it go pull the shoulders down beautiful so first we're going to just place our hand on our belly take an inhale Feel your belly expanding. I want big bellies here, okay? Nobody's watching, let the belly expand. Exhale. So this belly breathing is so good. Deep inhale. Exhale. So many of us, we clavicle breathe, and this is clavicle breathing. And then you can see it also in the nostrils like that, when you breathe like that. So that actually tenses up all the muscles here in the neck, the muscles here in the shoulders, even the pectoral muscles. So just calmly breathing. Fill the belly, beautiful. So now we're practicing separate nostril breathing. So if you guys have never done this before, we're gonna do it for a couple sets. I'll explain it first. Just take your middle finger to your third eye Take your thumb to your left nostril. Press the left nostril in. Inhale through the right nostril. Hold the breath, squeeze both nostrils. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold both nostrils. Exhale through the right. Beautiful, inhale through the right. Hold both nostrils. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Bring your eyes up to your third eye now. Hold it at the top. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold at the top, eyes to that third eye, sit up tall, shoulders back. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold at the top. Exhale through the right. So you're making this U, upside down U shape. Inhale through the right. Hold at the top. Exhale through the left. One more time. Inhale through the left. Eyes to your third eye. Sit up tall. Hold. Exhale. Keep your eyes closed. Just draw the left hand down. Breathing nice and slow, noticing any sensations around the face. Eyes are closed. 
chest breathe. Beautiful, now that you've found that calm state, just go ahead and come into a child's pose. Come on, baby. Spreading your knees nice and wide to the mats. Stretch your body out, forehead down. Close your eyes. Just breathe. Stretch your body. Spread the fingers, flatten the fingertips on the mat. So an active child's pose, you're gonna lift the elbows up, but use your hands and press the sit joints back for that nice deep stretch in the glutes and the lower back. Drop the head, eyes to your third eye. Nice deep inhale. Audible exhale. Deep enough. Audible exhale. Deep enough. Audible exhale. One more time, nice deep inhale. Audible exhale. Sealing your lips, breathing in and out through your nose. And now right here with your eyes closed, set your intention. And know how powerful your intention is. The vision you hold right here has the infinite possibilities to manifest, to grow, to blossom. Maybe envision your happiest self, your healthiest self, your most empowered self, whatever that is. I like to see myself healthy and happy, joyful. I dedicate my practice a lot to being healthy, radiant, strong in mind, body, and spirit. Beautiful. Come up to uh, piano fingers, lifting the palms off the mat. And rock your head side to side and slowly come up to a tabletop, stacking the shoulders over the wrists. Bellies in nice and tight. Inhale, gaze up, arch your back. Exhale, round the spine, dome the back, draw the belly in. Inhale, gaze up, arch the back, articulate the spine. Exhale, round the spine and dome the back. Again, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine. Bring the hips back to the heels. Make big circular movements in one direction and in the opposite direction. Pause in the center, curl your toes, bring your knees off the mat, and then slowly curl the toes, press your heels down into a downward facing dog. Beautiful, this downward facing dog, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Spread the fingers wide, pushing the mat away, drawing your belly a little closer to your thighs. Drop your head. Shake your head out. So on this downward facing dog, your gaze is gonna be at your navel. Pedal your feet side to side. Pedaling your feet. You look like in an inverted V. Just pausing here. Drop the head. Come high into your toes. Bring your belly closer to your thighs. Keep the heels up. And then bend the knees. Hover here for three, two, one. Inhale, hips high. Exhale, heels down. Drop the head again. Come high into your toes. Pivot the heels to the right. Press the edges of your feet down. 
Back onto your toes and pivot the heels to the left. Back onto your toes, bend the knees, hover. Inhale, hips high. Exhale, heels down. Walk your feet behind your hands. Staying bent over as we move into ragdoll. Bend the knees nice and deep. Grab opposite elbows. Swing side to side. Drop the head. Gentle tuck of the chin. Maybe interlacing your hands at the nape of your neck, pulling the head down. And just begin to walk your hands up your calves, the back of the knees, the glutes, and interlace the hands behind your back. Drop your head and breathe. Pull the hands closer to the earth. Bring the weight into the left foot. Straighten out the right leg. And then bring the weight into the right leg. Straighten out the left. Bring both hands down. We're going to go into a yogi squat. Spread your feet nice and wide. Hands come to heart center. Use your elbows and press the knees apart. Just breathe here. Close your eyes. Try to make sure that your heels can come down as much as they can. Just slowly breathing, swaying, opening up the groin, the hips. I close my eyes a lot in these postures. I like to feel, feel the breath, feel the body, feel the energy moving through it. Feel your body opening. Slowly bring the hands down, toes and heels together. Inhale to a half lift, flatten your back like a tabletop so your back is flat. Gaze is down, neck is long. Exhale, forward fold, tuck and bow, grab the back of your hips. Inhale, rising up, reach up, arms come up overhead, squeeze your glutes, go back. Exhale, you can swan dive down. Inhale to a half lift, draw your belly in. Exhale, melt it down, try to kiss your Inhale, reaching up, rise up, awaken that kundalini energy, go back, reach back. Exhale, we melt, make it a dance. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, forward fall, tuck and melt. Inhale, reaching up, rise up, go back, reach back. Exhale, forward fold. And again, inhale, half a lift, just get lost in the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up, reach up, this time bend the elbows at the top. Inhale, back to center, pausing here. Inhale, reach up, exhale, come up and over to the right. Inhale, the center, exhale, come up and over to the left. Inhale, the center, exhale, back bend. Inhale, center, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Hands are going to come to the top of your mat, stepping your feet back into that high plank. Stacking the shoulders. I like to go back and forth here, just moving my body, distributing the weight. Spread the fingers wide. Push the mat away. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, hover and hold. Squeeze your elbows in nice and tight. Notice my shoulders, elbows in one line. Inhale, up dog, point the toes, gaze up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale to a high plank. Exhale, hover and hold. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here. Right leg comes up halfway, flex your foot. And right leg down. Left leg up halfway. Left leg down. Inhale, right leg goes high, point the toes, drop the head, gaze at the top of your left thigh. Get the right leg up one more inch. Bend the knee and stack your hips. Slowly swing the knee up and in to that right elbow, drop the right foot down, spin your back foot down. Inhale, rise up. So stealing this back foot down to the mat. Reaching your arms up nice and high. Gaze is up. Again, try not to drop the head all the way back. 
keep the neck nice and long. Reach the arms out, sitting down, bring the left hip forward, right hip pulls back. Arms are up. Sit down a little bit more. Seal that back foot all the way down. I want you to squeeze that left glute here. Breathing nice and slow, slide back bend. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two. So sitting down nice and low, gazing over that middle finger. Get this thigh parallel to the mat. Stack your shoulders. Gaze over your middle finger. Right palm high, reach and reverse. Gaze to your fingertips, gaze up, keep sitting down. Back to warrior two. Hold it there. And we'll the hands down to the mat. Right leg comes back. Inhale high. Exhale low. Inhale up. Exhale downward dog. Left leg goes high. Point the toes. Drop the head. Really try to lengthen through your arms and the side body. Bend the knees. Stack your hips. Slowly bring the knee in, carve out your belly, and drop the foot down. Spin the back foot down, inhale, we rise. Reaching your arms up nice and high. Feel that length through your body. So working on these fundamental yoga postures are so important. We can always get deeper, we can always find little ways to move our body. Having this strong core here, really sets us up for all the other postures. So we always come back to the fundamentals. Always come back to these warriors, working on them, finding that strength in them. Next thing you know, you can hold these for like 10 minutes. Keep reaching up, bring the right hip forward, left hip back, slide back then. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two. Study yourself here, study your body, study your mind. Where is your mind? Where is your focus? Find one spot out in front of you, chin towards the left shoulder. Draw these inner thighs in, draw the belly in. Shoulders roll down the spine. You are a warrior right here. Piercing through any negativity, piercing through any doubts in your life. Piercing through any BS, you are going through it. You are that radiant warrior. Keep sitting down. Left palm high, reach and reverse. Gaze up to your fingertips, sit down more. Maybe put a smile on your face. Back to warrior two. Get nice and low. Windmill the hands down to the mat. Left leg back. Inhale high, exhale low. Inhale up dog. Exhale downward dog. Bring that right leg up nice and high. Bring the knee to the elbow, hover and hold. Inhale, right leg high. Bring the knee to your nose. Inhale, right leg high. Bring the knee to the left elbow, hover for three, two, one, right leg up. Step it through, crescent lunge. Keep your back heel lifted. Reach your arms up. Sorry, I gotta fix my little wardrobe here. Make sure everything is in. <laughs> Reaching up nice and high. Squeeze your booty. Squeeze your inner thighs. Reach your arms up. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Draw your belly in. Find one spot to look at on the mat. Maybe you're a big toe even. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, slowly come down, gaze at your big toe. Inhale, arms up, hands at heart. Opening up to the side, gazing to your right fingertips, drop your back head down, lift your arm up. Hands come back to heart center, sit down a little lower, hold for three, two, one. Hands come down to the mat. Right leg up, keep your right leg slightly lifted. Slowly come down the chaturanga if you can. If you can, drop to your knees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. The left leg goes high. Bring the knee to the left elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Bring the knee to your nose. Inhale, left leg up. Bring the knee to the right elbow, hover and hold, you're so strong. 
left leg up. Step it through, press and lunge. Back heel stays lifted. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Yes. Inhale, arms up. Sit down more. Exhale, power lunge. Interlace your hands. Feels so good to move. Inhale, arms up. Hands at heart. Open to the left side. Drop the left hand down. Reach that right arm high. Hands come to heart. Sit down one more inch and pause. Pulse it out for five, four, three, two, one. Hands come down. Left leg comes back. Keep that left heel up. Slowly lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Lift those hips up. Notice if your hips or glutes opened up anymore. Keep breathing in this downward facing dog. Okay, my friends. Right leg goes high. Bend the knees. Stack your hips. Then swing it through into right side pigeon. Bring the right knee to the right wrist. Left leg comes back. And I'm gonna switch my mat around so I can face you guys. I couldn't figure this setup out. It's been a minute since I did it with y'all. I was like, which way is better? Okay, I think this is a little better. I might drop the camera down. Yeah, I want you guys closer. Okay. Okay, so bringing this knee to the wrist. Think about flexing this foot. And bringing the shin up. I like to just take a moment to wiggle my hips here, to sink into the hips, square the hips down to the mat. Maybe coming down to your forearms. Dropping the head. So I spent, you know, seven or eight minutes checking in with you guys, seeing how you guys were doing. So I had to cut the class a little shorter, you know, but um, as we get more frequently connected on here, we'll go more into it. But I do think next week I'm gonna really focus on alignment and breaking down postures for people who haven't been in a while and just getting your bodies back to moving. Dropping the head, take a nice deep inhale, audible exhale, feel that exhale, feel yourself letting go, our hips hold on to so much, the emotional vaults right here, the more you can sink, if you can even allow yourself to sink a little deeper. So allow yourself to let go of anything that is holding you back, anything that comes up right here. Let it wash over, let it pass by like a cloud in the sky. So we begin to walk yourself up. So if you'd like to move into a little more advanced posture, reach back for the right, the left foot. And that's all I can go today because I'm cramping after teaching two classes. <laughs> So that's where I am today. Maybe you're tight too. But if not, you can start. Show you from this side. Start working that heel towards the glute. You can use your hands, your wrists. And so a lot of these postures, they take time. Patience. Like any good relationship, right? They take moving inwards and listening to your body. Slowly release that, hands to the mat. Bring your right leg back, downward dog. Left leg goes high. Bring the knee to the left wrist. 
Walk your right leg back. Again, just like move the body, breathe into the hips, find some organic movement. Allow yourself to slowly come down. Nice, low, deep inhales. So the beautiful thing is, you know, there's so many things that feel out of our control. We love to control things. We love to have control of our lives and what's going on in our day. But lately it feels like we don't have control. The reality is we never did. The one thing you do have control of first and foremost is always your breath. And if we truly understood the power of our breath, which I'm still learning myself every day, we would be practicing this breath work, this transformation that the breath allows us to have to transcend. So that is the one most powerful thing we have control over is our breath. The second is our thoughts, our thoughts. So everything formed in thought, all creation, that is here, this yoga mat, this phone I'm looking into, all of it was a thought that manifested into reality. So our thoughts are so powerful. The third thing we are in control of is how we respond. And when you think about that, that's a lot of control that we have. So we can actually let go of the need to control people, the need to be right, the need to control circumstances. If we can focus on controlling our breath, if we can focus on controlling our thoughts, and if we can focus on controlling our responses, well then we'll be very, very, very powerful, radiant beings. And we we'll, won't have time to even worry about controlling others. Slowly walking the hands up. Reach back for the right ankle. And again, just pause here. Maybe this is super tight. I said it's okay wherever you are. Maybe you can start to bring the heel in. Take a moment here with your body. It's really important that, you know, we want to do all these headstands or do these like really, you know, dramatic yoga postures. But for me, like what's really important and amazing is the child's pose, sun salutation, um, pigeon pose, camel, and then my personal favorite, Shavasana. If I can get deep into those and feel so connected, there's this yoga sutra that was saying, and keep breathing here into this, um, this yoga sutra that was saying that when you find the effortlessness in any yoga posture, you connect to that infinite space within you, which is of spirit, of source. So that is the goal, if you would say there is one in the yoga posture, is to find the effortlessness eventually in it. So I think studying the fun fundamentals of yoga is so important, because then you begin, like I said, to find that effortlessness in those warriors, or the child's pose, or whatever it is, a Shavasana, and you feel so good, you feel that you connected to something beyond yourself. Slowly bring the hands down, left leg comes back. You can take it through your flow if you like. Just meet me in an up dog for a moment. Spread your legs out, wiggle the hips, and then just allow the shoulders to drop down, gaze up. Feel the hips sinking into the mat a little more. You can bring your heels up if you like and just reach the head back. Beautiful. We're just gonna come into sitting position for the moment while I get my music going. So it's so good to be back with you guys. Um, we have a lot of great videos on our on demand that we've been filming with all the amazing teachers. We have Tana doing boxing. Um, we have Cami, we have Hector, we have Skylar, Savannah, we have, um, of course we have Jojo doing dance. Oh my goodness, so fun. So many amazing teachers. Hector just did a class. We have Doug doing yin, Sky doing yin on there. We're filming again with Cami on Wednesday. 
Um, so, so much is on there. If you guys want to ever go check that out. Okay, guys. So, just bring your feet together. Sit up nice and tall. Inhaling as you exhale, so allow your body to melt. I like to press my elbows into my knees. Allow your head to drop down. And eventually, maybe, bringing the arms out. left leg out, bring the right foot over the left knee, right hand down, inhale your left arm up, and taking that twist, inhale we lengthen, exhale twist, gazing over to your right shoulder, try to bring your eyes all the way to the back wall, keep twisting, inhale lengthen, exhale twist, twist, twist. Come over to the side. And then one more time. Bring that left arm high. Bring it to the outside of the right knee. Twist your body to the right. Gaze over that right shoulder. See if you can get that one more little inch. Feels so good. Just bring it out. So sweet. Slowly come back to center. Right leg down. Bring the left foot up and over. Sit up nice and tall. Left hand back by the left glute. Inhale, right arm high. Bring the knee, elbow across to the knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. I like to grab a hold of the right knee with the right hand here. Come over to the right side for a moment. And then again, one more time. Beautiful, my friends. And let's just come to lay down on our backs. Bring the knees in. Okay, now I gotta figure out this. <laughs> Bring the knees in. Drop the knees off to the right. Extend the arms out. Close your eyes. Bring your left ear down. Knees to the right. Head to the left. Come back to center. Stabilize the spine. Bring the knees in. Give yourself a hug. Gentle drop of your chin. Inhaling, exhaling, coming over to the left. Arms go out. Right side of the face down. Slowly come back to center. Soles of the feet together. Let your knees drop out to the side. Place your hands over your sacral chakra. So your sacral chakra is your second chakra. The first one is muladhara. The second one is your root. The second is sacral. Placing your hands there. So our sacral chakra has to do with creativity. And I know right now, a lot of us are feeling unmotivated, not creative. So just placing your hands here for a moment. I want you to visualize a beautiful color orange, a sea of orange. This also is a place of your sensuality. Some of us may be having a lack of sensuality, a lack of self-love in this area. Visualize this beautiful light, this light of orange. I am creative and I love my creativity. These are mantras you can say to yourself. I am the light of my soul. I am beautiful. I am bountiful. I am blessed.
Bring your knees together and slowly relax your legs onto the floor, arms down by your side, coming into Shavasana. Close your eyes. Take a moment here to be with yourself, to love yourself. Remember that I am are the two most powerful words. I am and what you put behind it will create your reality, your destiny. Your self-talk is the most important conversation you will ever have. We need to be the light unto our own soul first and foremost. And only after that can we light the path for others. So right here, just see, visualize the beautiful light in that heart center. Visualize the light in your third eye center. Visualize the light in that crown chakra connecting us to the universe, to each other. Thank you for allowing me into your home. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Very grateful, very honored. You'll see me here next Monday at 7 p.m. And like I said, um, I'm gonna do more of an alignment breakdown. Also, please remember to direct message me and drop a comment in that direct message on anything that you gain from this evening. And you will be given a free week of Radiant On Demand. So together, bring your hands at heart. You can still lay down. Say with me, I am the light of my soul. I am beautiful. I am bountiful. I am bliss. From my heart to yours. Namaste. I would love for you guys to share with me your I am's. This is how we inspire each other. What is your I am? See you next week, everyone. Stay strong, stay lifted, stay with the light. Together, we will conquer all. Stay with the light. Stay in your heart. Stay with gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm empowered. I am peace. Yes. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Share your I am's. Share your I am's. Inspire each other. I am empowered. I am peace. I am strong. I am happy. I am positive. I am determined. I am connected. I am happy. I am a healer. I move in love. Yes, Jojo. Yes, you are. Yes. I am connected. I am the universe. I am open hearted. I am calm, beautiful. Thank you. I am hopeful. I am connected.
healing, beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you all. See you next time.